Hi right, guys, it's Indus Noah F, and today I'm making a mixtape of William Baird and All Sports. Uh, I'm just kidding, he's my boy. I love All Sports, but anyway, I'm doing my top 10 receivers going into 2021. Number 10 is Amari Cooper, outstanding route running. Good hands, and pretty good for with the quarterback being Andy Dalton and two others. I think Cooper was a little bit underrated. Uh, I think he'll have a uh, good value next year when Dak comes back and he, and I think he'll probably will be and sorry if camera's shaky again. Number nine, scary Terry. I um, he's he's a stud. He he did good with the just average quarterback he had. He didn't have an amazing quarterback. Uh so I'm surprised Scary Terry did this good. He just did he broke out this year. He was amazing. He great great good speed, good agility good hands. Love him. Number eight is Calvin Ridley. And boy, he is a deep threat. Very, very big deep threat. Amazing deep threat. I'm going to be saying deep threat a lot in this video, but I mean Ridley. Uh, for Matt Ryan declining and there being Julio there, I think Ridley's just really good at number eight. Number seven is JJ. Justin, I do the gritty because I want to. I don't know why I want to. And just for some reason became international. Jefferson. <laughs> Justin Jefferson really had a he had, he had the biggest breakout year since any for any receiver since like 2015 2016. He just did amazing. Justin Jefferson, great hands. Uh, uh, can uh, I think he may have to work on a little like of contested catches, catching traffic, but otherwise, um, just amazing. Number six is gonna be Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen. I mean, uh, he 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 was really good with the rookie and Justin Herbert, and, and Kane Allen's like he always is good, good, decent hands, decent route running. I think he's a good receiver. Number five, Steve Hop. He 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 he. I and I know I said this forever was here, but he has good hands. He he he's just from the Hail Murray. We proven that he can make many contested catches. Well, just just amazing. I think maybe he just needs to work on a couple of more things. I, I I wish he were a little a little bit more flexible at another position, but he doesn't need to be. The ops just so good, and they have Christian Kirk. He's a good flexible receiver. So, D ops number five, number four is DK. Just needs to work on his hands a little bit. A uh, great route runner, great uh great toughness. He could shut off a lot of tacklers. Just sometimes he just uh has a horrible game. Sometimes he'll get like like thirty yards on three receptions. Some days he'll have 220 yards on like 20 res uh, no king no uh, but but you get what I mean so DK but I think DK just did good last year did even better this year number four number three Stiggs had a breakout I don't know why I trade him for David Johnson uh -huh. p p please don't send this to anyone <laughs> I'm just kidding uh so uh Diggs uh just great in Josh Allen uh maybe he could go to the weight room put on a teeny bit more weight that would make it probably number one Number two, Stamante Ams. Great at everything. I'm not even going to say anything bad about him. I just think he's a little overrated because if there were no one in Rogers, there would be no amazing Adams. Same for Tyree Kill, but Tyree Kill, again, all good, good rounded receiver. He's, he has good, he has good weight. He's, he's on a little bit on the shorter side, which will, uh, which, which will confuse a lot of cornerbacks, even the good ones. I just think Tyree Kill is blazing speed great hands i think yeah he's number one honorable mentions one amp Thielen, justin jefferson soaking up a lot of attention that's why i have him at seven Thielen, best red zone target in the nfl right now number two is alan robinson he's on free agency right now but whatever team he goes to they're gonna be lucky to have him number three i know you're gonna be mad they didn't put julio but you know cd cd lamb has the better quarterback C.D. Lamb's a vi he could play like five positions if he wanted to, and he's uh he has really good hands. So that's gonna be it. And whoa, well, whoa, well, okay, this is my new house window, so I'm not gonna be showing the old one anymore. But uh, have a good day, guys, and uh, and see you later. Bye.